Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my April budget with you. So I have my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner here. This is the 8.5 by 11. I do like the larger size just so I know I have enough room to write. So I'm going to go ahead and flip to April and I will go through our budget with you. So I did already go ahead and excuse me add everything up and I added all the stickers so what you have here on the monthly is all of the expenses so I've listed all my paydays how much I earned each day and I listed all of my bills and all of my expenses using my um, using my expense stickers so these are some of the expense stickers that I make they're in my shop, so I just keep them at the back in the pocket so that I have them when I make a purchase. So this is both in-person purchases and online purchases. So there's quite a bit here this month, um, quite a bit more than I was hoping to spend, but some of it was necessary. So yeah. We'll just go with that. So, um, let me show you in detail what we have. So, here we go. Alright, so we'll start up here with the pay. So, my pay came in just under, I estimated 4800 I came in just under at 4702.10. So, just under $100 short. I'd estimated my husband to get $50 since he's not working due to the pandemic. Um, but the government has um, offered relief for anyone who could be working if it had not been for the pandemic. So he was able to get some relief money there. So that's the extra $2,000. Uh, Etsy, I had budgeted $150. I honestly, I didn't know what to budget. I guess this was hopeful because I don't really think I've ever made that much in a month or anything that's actually been put into my account. Um, so I was just under at 114.74, so it's $35.26 short. I didn't put anything in miscellaneous and I was able to get an extra $538.82 and some of it was um, money that my mother sent me to help with some of the bills, um, some extra money from the government, that kind of thing. So that's what that is. And this was the rollover I had from the month of March. Um, I had estimated 2034 and I was just under by 20 cents. So it's not so bad. So in total, my income was over. So I made more by $2,405.46. So it's not too bad. Now the bills. So most of the bills are pretty good. <clears throat> so rent is the same. It's $17.50 every month. Heat, I always budget $125. This month is was $130.83. Um, honestly, I don't know why it was so much more. I honestly I don't know. We haven't been heating the house more. Maybe we've been using more hot water. I'm not sure. So it was a little bit more, just $5.83. Hydro uh, was, I always budget 90, it was 67.97, so it was under by 22.03. Water is paid every four months, so it was due in April, so I always budget $200. Um, it came in at $85, which is awesome, so I was under by $115. Our vehicle, so this is our for our, our loan, our car loan. Because we pay it with every payday, and we had three paydays in April, um, that's why this is so much higher. So it's two sixty seven fifty five every two weeks. So it came out to eight oh two sixty five. So that's the same. Our vehicle insurance, it's usually two sixty three fifty five. But again, due to the pandemic, since we're not driving around so much, and there aren't so many cars on the road. Our insurance company has modified our insurance and they're only charging us one ninety one forty one. So we were under by seventy two fourteen, which is good. Our RESPs, um, I was behind, so I did have to pay an extra fee. So I had budgeted one seventeen, but I ended up paying one forty six ninety eight, so that is um over by twenty nine ninety eight. Our cell phones, I budgeted four fifty and I paid four fifty. Internet, I budgeted seventy. 
it came out to fifty nine seventy, so I was under by ten dollars and thirty cents. Our internet will be the same for May, um, but starting in June it will be more because when we first got this internet plan, our children were very little, so we didn't need a lot of, um, I guess, bandwidth is what they call it. You know, the gigabytes upload download. Um, but now that our children are a little older, they have their tablets, they have, you know, especially now being at home, having to do all their homework at home with all of their Google Meets with their teachers and stuff, we just, our, our internet is dying. We're constantly lagging. So we've increased our internet. So this will go up by, I want to say, just under $20. I think it'll go up to about $85, something like that. So it's not so much more. Anyways, I'm rambling. Uh, home insurance, I budget 47. It came out to 46.53, so we're under by 47 cents. Dance, I had budgeted 600. I ended up not having to pay anything this month, um, and this wasn't for um, actual dance dance because we're not doing any dance this month. Um, again, because we have to be home. This was to finish paying off some of my daughter's costumes, even though dance is essentially canceled for now anyway. Uh, they're not going to be attending any competition. So um, they are still paying for their costumes. They will still get their costumes. They're more likely, sorry, they're more than likely going to use their costumes in the fall and attend some competitions in the fall. So, um, but you'll see this again in May. It's just less than this. I thought it was 600, but it's just over $300. So you'll see it again in May. So for April, I was able to save this 600 Gymnastics, nothing. Netflix is $16.99. Doesn't change. Netflix for my mother's $9.99. Doesn't change. Uh, Crave, I budget $25. It's actually $29.35, so I adjusted that for the May budget, so it's over $4.35. Disney Plus, I budget eighty. Uh, sorry, $10. It's $8.99, so it's under by $101. Again, modified for May. Prime, I had budgeted $10.00. Um, but I ended up putting them in my other category, and you'll see that in my weekly check-in. So I just left it as um, under by 10 because I, I didn't put it in this category. So it all balances out at the end. It would have been more than $10, though. I think it was probably closer to 20 I'm still trying to figure out how this works because so far I've seen, I think, three or four different... Amazon Prime payments come out of my account, so I'm and they're all very small amounts, but different, um, different days, different amounts. So I need to figure this out. Okay, this is the fun part. So groceries, um, I budgeted seven hundred dollars. Now, like I've mentioned before, our family is a super super busy family. We are always on the go between gymnastics, dance. My husband and I have another part-time job. We do once to three times a week, um, plus work and everything else. We are insanely busy, so we're not home a lot. So $700 has always been a lot, actually, because we don't usually eat at home. Our restaurant budget has been ridiculous. It's always been in the 800s to $1,000. So... I kept the grocery budget at $700, not knowing what it would be like having every single meal at home and having my three kids that are still active, they want their snacks, so like vegetables and fruits and the goldfish and everything else. So I budgeted $700, I ended up spending $1,397.36, yeah. $1,397.36. Way over budget. It's almost $700 over budget. Now, that is for two reasons that I know for sure. One, we were low on actual groceries in the house because we are not usually home so much. We did have the basics, but we didn't have a lot. So a lot of this was stocking up on stuff we didn't usually have at home. And then it was, you know we were running out of food because people are eating at home a lot more. So this was totally new for me. Uh, gas, I budgeted 100 I only spent $29, and I think $10 of that was a car wash. Um, so I was under by $71, and I still have over half a tank of gas, so I'm not worried about that at all. 
restaurants, I budgeted $250 um, because we are doing, um, like I said, I don't know if this is happening everywhere, but we do have a takeout Wednesdays where people are encouraged to take get takeout on Wednesdays just to help some of the local businesses that are struggling. So I had budgeted $250. We did end up spending $440, $53. Some of that was because I was kind of craving some food when my husband and I had a movie night. So we got some pizzas and stuff from Pizza Hut, which is a little bit more expensive. So, And of course, I had to get some for the kids so that they'd have some the next day. So yeah, so we were over by one ninety fifty three. Then this is the other category, which I had budgeted one fifty, And boy, I didn't think that went through. Usually what I like to do before I write out my whole budget is to sit down, look at the monthly here and see what events are coming up to see what I would need to spend. There weren't any real events coming up in April that I needed to spend for, but what happened is with getting this extra little bit of money, I was able to get a few extra things that I wouldn't have gotten had I not gotten that extra money. So, um, I budgeted one fifty. I ended up spending one thousand seven hundred and twenty-eight dollars and twenty-eight cents. That's almost ten times the budget. So I was over by $1,578.28, which hurts, but they were good things. It wasn't things like restaurants or snacks or anything crazy. It was actually good things, and you'll see that in a little bit. Uh, then bank fees, I'd forgotten to budget for bank fees, so I added that at the bottom. It, it's not part of this total here, but I added it there, and it comes out to $31.90. And that is for two bank accounts, because we do have two separate bank accounts. Um, my husband and I both share accounts, but at two separate banks. Long story, but that's how we go. So I put it as being over by $31.90. So... At the end, I had estimated that our total potential savings would be $1,347. It actually ended up being $2,016. Even with all of these over budgets, having the extra income up here really helped. So I was able to carry over $2,000, over $2,000 into May. So that really helped. So now let me show you the weekly check-in. All right, so weekly check-in, week one. Um, I'm not going to go in full detail, but we had I broke it down into groceries, gas, restaurants, other, and unbudgeted. So uh, this is essentially how we broke down, stayed pretty much on budget, except for other, which we knew that would blow really fast. Unbudgeted stayed pretty good. Groceries week two was good. Gas stayed fine. Other still crazy. Then we start going in week three. Our groceries start going over budget. Um, and so does other. It's still way over budget. And then week four, we're pretty much over budget in all categories. So groceries, restaurants, other, and unbudgeted. And I think I put the unbudgeted into the other category. I'm not sure how I figured this all out. It was very confusing because for some reason this didn't match this, the category, so hopefully I did a better job when I set up May. But So we're over budget in all categories except for the gas category, and same thing week 5, over budget in all categories except for the gas category. So that's what we had. Now some of the things that I spent on... Some of the things that I spent on in the other category, these are the yellow stickers. So this is the Amazon I told you about. So that was one Amazon at $11.29. I had a Walmart expense at $2.50, and this was for Easter. So that was one of the others I hadn't budgeted for Easter. So I had budgeted for Easter. I had budgeted the $150, if you remember the $150 I put there, but I ended up spending $2.50. Then I have uh, YouTube. I purchased season one, episode one of The Prodigal Son. Yeah, it's called The Prodigal Son. It's a show on 
it's a TV show. We don't have cable, so I can't watch TV. Um, so I purchased it on YouTube just to see if I like the series. I love the series. Just seeing the first episode, I absolutely love the series. If you have not watched The Prodigal Son... I think it's amazing, and that's only from watching one episode. I cannot wait to watch the rest of, of the series. So that was one expense there. I did go to Dollar Tree, and uh, I paid for my husband's PlayStation Network fee. It's once a year. Uh, there's another mysterious Amazon fee of $14.68. Uh, then Sony. I forget what that is. Sony. Yep, I forget what that is. That was for something, probably for my husband, but I don't remember what it is. So it's $10, anyways. Uh, then here I have Funky Monkey. That's I got some fabric. My daughters want to learn to make some scrunchies. So I got some fabric for them. Staples, I purchased some items for um, my business. So for my stickers, I needed some printer ink, some cardstock. I needed some lamination sheets. Um half of this is actually being refunded to me in the month of May because they ended up not having any printer ink so I ended up having to go to Walmart to get it. Anyways, uh, I got some photos printed here and I got some, that's for my scrapbooking, that's why I got that. There's another mysterious Amazon fee of six seventy seven. dollars uh, These two right here in grey these are unbudgeted, and they both say DGN, so it's DGN Kilters. It's a school uniform company, and it's to buy my son's uh, school uniform for next year. So, first one, I followed the measurement guide that they have on their website. I measured my son exactly how they said, and I followed all of their measurement guides when I was purchasing every single individual item, every shirt, every pair of pants, every pair of shorts, I looked at all of the measurement guides to make sure I was getting the right size. It came in the mail, and it's all two sizes too big, at least, if not bigger. So instead of returning it, which I could have returned it and gotten my money back, instead of returning it, since I had that extra little bit of money, I'm going to keep it because he will grow into it. I will need it eventually. He will need to have bigger uniform at some point. So I'm going to hold on to it, and that's why there's this second expense. This second expense is actually the uniform that actually fits him. So he actually tried it on today. It just arrived today. Uh, today being May 7th, um, it just arrived. So he did try it on, and it fits beautifully. So just goes to show you cannot trust the measurement guides online all the time. Anyways, I'm rambling. Of course, I have my Erin Condren haul. Uh, my Oh, there's the Staples refund right there. I thought it was coming in May, but it came in April. So that's the refund. So I put a little plus sign here. So when I was calculating the other category, I just added this instead of subtracting it. Then Shoppers was for my business. And I think, oh, there's another Amazon mysterious of five dollars and sixty four cents so yeah that was that so that is essentially my budget review for the month of april i did do a uh, transaction log and a variable income and i'm still working on my sinking funds and my debt tracker so i'm not quite ready to show that for this month hopefully i will have it all set up to show you that in um, or at the end of the month of May, but right now I'm it's not it's 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 a mess it's a royal mess let's just be honest. All right, so I am going to leave it here. I hope this helps to give you an idea of what a budget looks like and what it looks like at the end of the month, even when you go way over budget. But things happen, so. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, uh, remember I'm not a professional at this. This is just me trying to figure it out as we go along. So, But if I can help you out, I would love to be able to help you out. So any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments box below. And I will definitely get back to you. 
If you haven't already subscribed, please remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Alright? Thanks everyone. Bye!